Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is a video response to Pete Dorr um, about underrated games, games you th think people may not have heard of. Um, first, I want to say to Pete, uh, I think your YouTube channel is awesome. I know you've heard this before, but you kind of like inspired me to make my channel. It's kind of a new channel, and uh, thanks a lot, you and a lot of people like Steph to Death and uh, I don't know other people. Uh, I think your channel is really good and. Just wanted to post this video response to you and say what's up and introduce myself to my channel and uh, I hope you check it out. Anyways, for the three under for the games, I have three games, three underrated games. Um, the first one is an NES game. Um, it's not this one. A lot of people know this game. Uh, TNC Surf Designs Wood and Water Rage. Uh, it's the game where everyone loves a skateboard but nobody knows how to do the surfing part. <laughs> um, a lot of people know this game, but it had a sequel. I don't know if a lot of people know about that. I didn't know about that. It's called Thrill of Safari. Uh, it's a much better game. It even has a storyline. Somebody stole uh, Thrill's girlfriend, who's a human, even though he's a monkey. He's a gorilla. Um, and he's got to surf through the jungle and skateboard through the jungle to find her. And it's just basically avoiding obstacles while you're surfing or skateboarding really fast. Uh, avoiding animals, snakes that try to get you in the jungle, and rocks that you can trip over on your skateboard. But it's just really fast-paced, really, uh, really like quick thinking, like avoiding stuff. Um, it's a really fun game. Throw the Savari, sequel to TNC's Wooden Water Wage. Uh, the second, the next two games are kind of from a genre that I think is underrated. It's the puzzling platformer, like Lost Vikings would be like a puzzling platformer. Um, the first one is Solstice, obviously owned by some kid named Anthony at some point. Um, it's a really good game. I never heard about it until uh, I bought it on eBay, a lot of games. Um, it's basically like an isometric point of view. You're this little wizard guy. Each room you go in is kind of a puzzle. You got to figure out not every room, but uh, or the or the dungeon itself is a maze. It's a series of mazes like a uh, Lost uh, Forest style in Zelda One, the first Zelda game. Um, or like here's an example. Um, one of the rooms you'll walk in and there'll be the boots, the jumping boots that you need way up high um, in a room full of spikes and one bad guy walking around in the spikes and a block on a platform over here. Now you can't walk on the spikes and you can't walk on the bad guy, but if you go over to the block, you can push the block onto the bad guy's head and then jump onto that block and then ride him to the higher platform that has the shoes that you want and jump on there and get the shoes. That's kind of a puzzle that you just got to figure out in just one room. Then once you have the shoes, it's like a Zelda type thing where uh, like after you get the, uh, the hammer in Zelda, you can break rocks to get to newer areas. Now that you have the shoes, you can get to other parts of the dungeon you can never get to and it kind of continues on like that. And it's really intricate. There's a lot of rooms, lots of different puzzles. I even drew a map of like all the different areas. Um, it'll have all the rooms. Like here's the first area, and then I have a key. Like I'll have um, like J. Like what's J? And then I have a key on what all the letters is that I marked on the map. And J is uh, the second staff piece that you need. You need to find pieces to the staff to defeat some wizard that stole your girlfriend, of course, which is the plot to every NES game there is. Um, anyways, that's Solstice, a puzzling platformer. A lot of people know about it. Awesome game. Next game is a puzzling platformer on Sega Genesis. It's called Krusty Super Fun House. It's a licensed game because it's based on The Simpsons. But uh, it's a puzzle game. You have to figure out how to get these mice dead, basically. The mice walk around like lemming style, just aimlessly walking, continually walking. And uh, you control Krusty, who needs to get them to a destination, which is... Uh, Bart or Homer or somebody waiting to kill the mice. They, they have a machine that will kill the mice. So you have to get them from point A to point B. Uh, you can pick up blocks that can make stairs. Like if you need to get the mice from here to here, you can pick up a block, put it here, pick up another block, put it here, and now they can climb the blocks like stairs to get over here. Um, that's real simple, but it gets really intricate because you don't, might not have enough box to complete the stairs, so how do you do it? Uh, you got to find some other item. There's bad guys in the way. How do you do that? you got to break down walls sometimes. Uh, you can't once you get the mice up somewhere, you might have to react really fast, pull down the stairs that you just constructed to set, pull up another set of stairs to get them up here. And if you don't react fast enough, the mice is going to fall down some pipe and end up at back at the beginning again. So you really got to look at the level as a whole. It gets really intricate and really like tough to like figure it out. But once you figure it out, and you can do it perfectly, set these blocks, set these blocks, let them fall down, let them walk this way, set these blocks, let them fall down this pipe, they're going to get here. Oh look, there's Bart. They're all going to walk through Bart's machine. Bart's going to slap the boxing glove down and kill them all one by one. Go on to the next level. I don't know. It gets really intricate, though, and really, you got to really wrap your head around it. It takes time to figure out. But anyways, that's it. Three underrated games. Um, Throw the Safari, sequel a lot of people don't know about. And then two puzzling platformers, which I think is an underrated genre. 
uh, one on the NES named Solstice, and the other one on Sega Genesis. This is also on SNES and regular Nintendo. Um, they're all pretty much the same game. Um, and this one's on Sega. Krusty Super Fun House. Alright, uh, that's it. Thanks a lot, Pete Dorr, for your awesome channel, for all the inspiration, and uh, hope you like my video response, and check these games out if you haven't seen them yet. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.